News just coming in. Terrorists gave a gun salute to Lashkar e Toiba. Terrorists who were killed yesterday in South Kashmir school gam. Saddam Padar, Saddam Padar, pardon me. A terror commander in the valley was also seen at the slain terrorist funeral. Five terrorists, in fact, appeared at the funeral of Junaid Mattu. He was a Lashkar commander in charge of South Kashmir. Earlier, at least 10 terrorists had turned up at the funeral of Nasir, one of the three terrorists who was killed yesterday. We've got Ashraf Vani, our Kashmir Bureau Chief, joining us on that story. In fact, isn't Saddam Padar one of uh, those 10 that was seen in one picture? Uh, one of the very few, in fact, who is now still left alive? Absolutely, Padmuja. This was the only surviving militant from that viral photograph, which was uh, first uh, got on social media with Burhan Vani. Out of that 11 featured in that photograph, nine had been killed, one has surrendered, and Saddam Pada is the 11th man who made his appearance today in that gun salute or uh, in the funeral of the Salem Lashkar commander who was killed yesterday in encounter. And also, it is not first time that militants are uh, giving this kind of gun salutes to the in the funerals of the Salem militants. This is this has become now a trend. We have seen in Kulgam at least five times whenever any encounter happens, any local militant killed. Then his uh, associates come over in the funeral, uh, uh, being the security forces around, then give the gun salute and left from the spot. Same thing happened here, but here one thing was worrying, that the Saddam Padar was himself, with four of his associates, they openly came, fired in air, uh, gave a gun salute to the civilian militant and left from the spot. This clearly shows how the situation in the Kashmir Valley is and how the militants are openly roaming in the areas. And that was also... Uh, proven yesterday when in the broad daylight uh, a team of uh, police uh, officer and his uh, mm. colleagues were attacked in the South Kashmir. And what is also interesting that this coming to a funeral openly, giving a gun salute, putting out their propaganda videos, is all of this also an effort, Ashraf, to try and keep their ranks together because there are counter-terror operations taking place with more ferocity. They have become more regular, more terrorists are being gunned down. Is this an effort on the part of these terror commanders to keep their flock together and send out a message, we're still on top of the situation? Well, that is the one factor, but also another worrying factor which is coming up in the Kashmir Valley recent times is that when any local militant is killed, another comes to, uh, uh, to uh, for alternate of him. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we have seen three local militants of Lashkar Taiba got killed in encounter. Today we are getting the reports that at least two boys from the Shopian town of South Kashmir have got activated. One of the picture was loaded on the social media. He is a 17-year-old boy, a class uh, 12th student and also um, uh, has uh, the uh, verses of Quran he has uh, remembered. That is, that is the factor which has come in and that is clearly shows that the growing trend of uh, militant locals getting recruited in different militant groups is now an uh, uh, ongoing process in the Kashmir Valley and that is a worrying factor for the security agencies hmm. as well as for the government. Oh, absolutely. The fact that uh, this funeral took place in the open in South Kashmir and there were at least five to ten terrorists present at the spot. Not only that, in full defiance of the law, there was a gun salute given at the funeral of a terrorist. We also have a former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir, M.M. Khajuria, with us on the phone line. What does this say about the situation in South Kashmir, Mr. Khajuria, that you have terrorists turning up for a funeral? Yes, this used to happen earlier, but now you have five to ten terrorists turning up and giving gun salutes in full public view, it seems, without even a shred of fear of the law. Uh, this is not the first time it has happened, uh, but, but what it is signals is that they are firming up their base and that uh, they have uh, to a large extent able to uh, garner public support. The state authority does not seem to be able to exercise its risk in that area mm. uh, and uh, nothing seems, appears to be happening on that front. The basic point is that unless uh, the state authority asserts and people feel that uh, the terrorists are actually outlaws and that the law will catch up with them, uh, their uh, sympathies, their support, whether it's voluntary or involuntary, 
will continue to be there and to spread. Unfortunately, we are not addressing the uh, basic uh, the internal problem hmm. that produces the terrorists. And that's where the leader arises. Ideologically, nobody is contesting the Wahhabis. Ideologically, nobody is contesting the the Jamaat Islamic people. Hmm. I mean, the result is that uh, they are spreading their message. The society is getting Wahhabis. Very, very and important point you've raised government. about indoctrination and indoctrination to the level, Ashraf. And I want to just, just tie all of these things in because this man, Junaid Mattu, at whose funeral Saddam Padar and other uh, terrorists have turned up, he is accused of the murder of Kashmiri policemen, including one young policeman, a constable in the SOG who was killed two days ago and more policemen from last year. So here is a man who has killed Kashmiris and yet there is a gun salute at his funeral and people are mourning the encounter of the same Junaid Mattu. Why? Now this is, has become the reality. It is a, uh, it is a uh, war among the people in the Kashmir Valley now. The, it is a war of ideologies. On one side there are the people who believe in the India, who believe in the constitution of India, who believe in the democracy and uh, who believe in the government. And on the other side, there are the people who uh, believe in the uh, militancy, who believe in the separatism, and uh, who uh, are now becoming enemies of one another. We have seen recently two videos in, which came in last two days, day before yesterday. One from the Lashkar local commander was speaking and war, uh, warning the uh, German Kashmir police personnel and uh, saying them either they will face consequences or they should join him. And another video from Hezbollah Mujahideen, who also was threatening the German Kashmir police personnel and uh, also uh, suggesting them to join him and even offering them the more cash what they are getting from the government. Mm. So it is completely the war of ideas in the Kashmir and it is the division of the society which is clearly visible and that is why on everyday basis the locals are being killed either from the police side or from the civilian side mm. or even the militants. Mr. Kajuria, what do you make of this? You raised the point of indoctrination. Is this indoctrination responsible for a situation where people today in Kulgam, in South Kashmir, are celebrating a murderer of Kashmiris? Actually, there are two, two dimensions to this. One is that uh, ideologically there is no contest with the Dazir. Uh, the Ashkazi uh, cult to which the vast majority of Kashmir Muslim uh, still uh, belong, uh, that is uh, getting receded and uh, the gun, with the help of the gun, the Wahhabis are spreading their cult. Uh, the, there's no playing, uh, level playing field with the result that they have all the advantages. And secondly, okay. because unless you, unless you create a situation in which people can express their, uh, their, their innermost and sincere views, uh, the, the enemy will all have the upper hand. Therefore, the, the, the day you are able to assert the state authority, you mm. remove the fear of gun, I'm mm. sure the number of people who stand up for civilized behavior, the true spirit of Islam and okay. India will stand up and it has to be counted. All right, Mr. Khajuria, thank you very much for speaking to us. We also have BJP MLA Ravinder Rana with us on the phone line. Terrorists turning up at the funeral of terrorists giving gun salute. Where is the government in all of this, Mr. Rana? First of all, I would say this is the desperation among the terrorist outfits because in last uh, 10 days, more than 60 terrorists have been neutralized by the Indian forces, our army, our Jammu and Kashmir police, and in joint operations carried out with the security forces in Jammu and Kashmir. And this is the desperation. And uh, they have uh, now, there is a one video, and I suspect this video because uh, it can be concocted, it can be, uh, there may be some, uh, I doubt the credentials of uh, this, a video, but if it is uh, if it is so, then I would say that uh, this is the desperation among the terrorists. Those have lost their top commanders uh, in, the, in, the, in the recent encounters in Kashmir. Valley. No, of course it is their desperation. And again, I'm going to ask you, why didn't the government stop this from happening? It is open skulking of their snook at the law. They are basically making it seem as if there is no police, there is no law in South Kashmir. First, I would say that I doubt this video, very firstly, honestly speaking, not as a politician because I, I remain associated with all these uh, security agencies and intelligence agencies. I have talked to one of the senior functionaries. He doubts 
the credentials of this uh, uh, video footage is but it is uh, i would say see how we are hitting out the terrorists how we have break down their backbones in kashmir valley we have okay would you like to respond to that ashraf if you're still on the line mr rena says that even the reliability of this video is in doubt as far as he is concerned <laughs> no absolutely padmuja basically um, uh, this is the ground reality we have see, uh, covered it ourselves and uh, this was the ground situation and also this uh, these kinds of videos come cannot be documented even security agencies uh, are aware about this in the kashmir valley and even the government but uh, 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 Rana Sab is not uh, accepting it but it is the reality and it is not happened first time but even many times earlier also it started the trend from the Burhanwani Sundar where Lashkar top commander Abu Dujana make his presence then this trend continued for all the funerals almost all the funerals of the local militants in the Kashmir valley particularly in the south Kashmir All right thanks very much Ashrafani for joining us Shujaul Haq also joining us live now on that story if anything this should be a cause for worry for the security forces again any success that is achieved is by them they have local intelligence they close in on the terrorists but within a day these terrorist ranks are replenished and then you have these videos emerging Shuja which act as propaganda material for further and future recruitment Well, that's right, uh, Padmaja. This should be a huge cause of concern, not just the, for the security establishment, uh, you know, in general, but uh, for the government, uh, you know, in particular, which is, uh, you know, uh, in Jammu and Kashmir uh, uh, by the PDP and the BJP, and in the centre with the BJP. Uh, the this is, you know, this uh, uh, exposes the uh, fault lines at various levels. You know, Padmaja. Yesterday, when that news about uh, uh, six policemen being killed in an ambush came out. It, the details are very scary it was a group of more than 15 militants who cornered these uh, uh, policemen who were traveling in a jeep isn't that scary enough that a group of 15 militants can corner uh, you know uh, policemen who are uh, who are armed uh, you know and are on duty isn't that enough to sort of ring the alarm bells mm. and now even in these cases at the funeral of this uh, militant uh, nasir wani in shopian we are getting to learn that at least 10 militants were openly uh, you know brandishing ak47 rifles firing in the air Uh, there are thousands of pictures that are being shared uh, on the social media about this uh, that particular act hmm. i don't know why the uh, you know mr ravindra rena is denying it uh, uh, because if it's uh, if it's wrong then why shouldn't uh, the state government or the police department sort of come out with a rebuttal and say that these pictures and these videos are being circulated unnecessarily hmm. but the fact remains that it is a reality on the ground and they need to rather than pinpointing uh, or uh, uh, you know accusing each other they need to come together and form a proper strategy of handling this situation both politically as well as uh, in terms of uh, security related issues hmm. if they don't want to do that and blame each other like we saw uh, how it happened in the assembly today hmm. then these issues would keep on uh, cropping up in fact that's something i want to talk to you in detail one, you know, ahead so just just stay on with me let's just Already first tell our viewers what happened today in the assembly. assembly remember yesterday there were six policemen who were killed in anantnag and today not a single politician no mla no minister no one turned up for their funeral for their last rites the terrorists remember had also disfigured the faces of all of these policemen and fled with their weapons the martyred policemen have been identified as sho firoz ahmed dar constable sharik ahmed constable tasveer ahmed constable sharaz ahmed Constable Muhammad Asif and Sabzar Ahmed. This cowardly attack was carried out by the Lashkar, led by their commander Bashir Lashkari. The same terrorists who had recently released a threat video warning of attacks on the police.